Hey folks, Matt from RileyImage.com. Robin Chilson is writing in asking, would I recommend the Nikon 24 to 85 millimeter or 18 to 105 millimeter and why? And this is a comment on my Nikon 24 to 85 millimeter uh, video. Now, um, big clarification that has to be made when you're asking this question. Uh, the 18 to 105 is not a full frame lens. Uh, in other words, it's for DX, it's for APS-C sensor bodies. The 24 to 85 is a full frame lens. You can use it on both. So, um, if you have a DX camera, D7200, D7100, D7000, D5500, D5300, D3300, D3200, any of the, you know, D90, an older camera, any of the DX uh, APS-C bodies from Nikon, then you can use the 18 to 105. You can also use the 24 to 85. If you have a full frame body like the D D610, D600, D700, D810, D3, you know any of the full frame bodies from Nikon, the FX bodies, uh, you can't use that 18 to 105. It's a DX lens. So when you clarify that, it may answer your question right there. Um, but let's assume that you're shooting DX. I think that the 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 options here. First of all, I think you could probably get the 18 to 105 for less money, and it offers more reach and more width. So for DX camera, it's probably been more beneficial in that sense. Now, conversely, the 24 to 85, while it doesn't have quite the reach or quite the width on it for a DX body, it is a full frame lens. So if you're planning on upgrading or if you're planning on acquiring a full frame body and maybe having two bodies, some people like to do that, have a DX and an FX body, then it'll work on both cameras. So you can, you're not gonna have to sell it and get something else when you get an FX body. So that's a bit of an advantage. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember if the 18 to 105 is an F56 lens at the long end. Um, whereas the 24 to 85 is a 35 to 45. So uh, you wanna check the aperture on that because uh, you may have the advantage there with the 24 to 85 being just a little bit faster. So a little bit of advantage there, not a lot, but you know, I, I tend to treat the 24 to 85 millimeter almost like a constant aperture F4, F4.5, but you know, you can leave it at that and treat it as a, a constant aperture. Um, whereas you may not get quite that speed out of the 18 to 105. I'm thinking that's an F5.6, but I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. Anyways, um, that's my thoughts on it. So you kind of have to decide which way you want to go there. If you're just planning on staying DX and not um, thinking about upgrading to FX anytime soon, then probably the 18 to 105 is the way to go. If you have any need for the little extra speed or have an FX body in your future or indeed own one now, 24 to 85 is probably the way to go. Anyways, what do you guys think? Questions, comments about that? Leave them below, 24 to 85 versus the 18 to 105 for Nikon. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your question, Robin. And we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks.